Hey guys, what's up? I am Poppy Padilla. If this is your first time catching me in the studio, feel free to subscribe because we do get down on a daily basis and we have a lot of fun. Now, for a full month, I haven't been doing any Tempest races and now I can't even stop doing them because today we're gonna do the Larry, Larry Brunel's challenge, Larry's challenge. We're gonna use Hans RX-7 right there behind me from Tokyo Drift. We're gonna get in there and do it because you know what? I really like his Spano. Uh, that's the car that you win at the end of it. So I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and get into the studio and do this. Um, I believe it's a 40 race uh, event or what have you. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a two parts uh, for all of you that are just kind of tuning in for the first time. I used to do the Tempest races into like five different parts. I would do five races at a time because that was a full tank of gas. But uh, now it's just gonna be a part one and a part two. So part one, this is gonna be the first, I believe, I believe there's 40 races. Part one will be 20 races, the next part will be 21 races, or, you know, with the with the car, so we can win it. Let's see, where where is my RX-7, man? <laughs> oh, there it is, yes. Let's do it, you sure you wanna lock it in? I do wanna lock it in, little girl. I like it, I like it. All right, let's double check. That way I know what I'm talking about. 40 races. It's 40 races. Okay, so part one is gonna be 20 races and part two will be 20 races or 21 races. So welcome back, youngster. Shack Industries has been in disarray of late and this goon's present is the last thing we need. All right, Larry, I appreciate you, bruh. So look at that car, man. That car, his Spano. Or Spano is good. It's, it's really nice looking. I mean, I'm not racing for it right now, fellas, but uh, it's all right. It's all right. We got a car that's going to be fast enough to uh, take it. And in case you guys are doing it right now, you're going to need at least a 10 second car. Because I believe the final race, I believe he's running a, a 11 seconds just over 11 seconds so if you have a 10 second car and you're already ahead of the game and, and you're already uh a little bit farther than where, where i'm at then uh, go ahead and take it man as long as you have a 10 second car you should be able to get his his ride so let's uh keep on going i have a lot of t uh, tier 5 cars that i could have used for this event but I wanted to ensure that I got it. Now, if it's anything like, I hope this isn't like the, the license. Because if we use this car for this one, I'm going to need a faster car in the next one. So I don't know if the, he's going to, if Alte, the Tempest, is going to say, oh, you can't use this car because you already use this car. Because that's, that's the way it is in, in the uh, license, man. Just so that you guys know, if you're running the license, the Elite license and the time trials, if you use your fastest car, you won't be able to use it for the Tempest races. So keep all that in mind. So I'm going to take a gamble with this car. And if I can use this car for the next ones, that'll be good. What is this? No, I'm not going to do this. Maybe later. But um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So if I use my RX-7 now, am I going to be able to use it later? So I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's cross our fingers, boys. In fact, if anyone knows that and, and you, you're doing the Tempest races and you're a whole lot farther than where I'm at, you know, give me some insight. Drop a comment and let me know, hey, man, that, that's uh, it's not a bad idea to use that one or your fastest car or, hey, don't do it because you know what? You won't be able to use it in, in the next the next races. So I was like, what? So I got to I got to figure that out. Look at that car, bro. Dang. See, and this is cool because we're actually, uh, the last Hobbs and Shaw event, we were racing a bunch uh, a bunch of junkers. I call them junkers. Those are the restart, restore cars. And uh, I really like those cars, but I do not like those cars when they're not restored. At least restore the paint job, bro. Come on. But most of the races, they were all junkers. I was like, oh man, come on. Straight garbage, son. All right. 
but yeah this is this is a treat that we get to see all these nice cars right so like that color that blue that's a nice that's a nice color blue so if i was to pull anything first of all whenever i pull a car with the rare crate box openings you know i always wish that i would pull either a black one or a blue one but I, i've been recently pulling a lot of red cars I think I pulled like three or four red cars in the previous uh, opening. So I was just like, come on, man. I want my favorite color up in this mug. Give me the blue ones or the black ones. But you know what? If I was to pull a car like that, Aventador. Oh, and just so that you know, okay, so that's a Lambo, right? The, uh, the maker of Lambo, a Lamborghini, he really, really enjoyed uh, bullfighting. So whenever he came up with the cars, all of his models, except the Connect or whatever you call it, all of the models, like the Huracan, Aventador, and uh, uh, Mito, all of those are actually names of famous uh, bulls. Some of the bulls that he used to race against. So I thought that was pretty dope, just for the simple fact that he loves Spanish. Because a lot of people think that it's... Uh, it's some sort of a dialect out of um, out of Italy, Italy, and it's not. Those are actually Spanish names uh, for the Lamborghinis uh, of the bulls that he used to watch. So I thought that was a pretty cool thing. So back on subject, if I was to pull a red one of those, I'd be I'd be down with that, right? <laughs> Let's keep going, boys. We're gonna go. We're just gonna push forward. We're gonna push forward. How many races did we get? Oh, and if you're and if you're wondering how did I get uh, all the gas, I uh, I made sure that I had two full tanks. That way I can get the first what ten races out of the way, and then if we need more gas, then I'm just gonna buy more gas, so we can go ahead and get these twenty races out the way, man. Because I really want the car, and then tomorrow is gonna be we're just gonna get take the car, and then I gotta figure out what we're gonna do next. You know, I don't know if it's going to be a rare crate opening. I don't know if we're going to do some more Tempest races. I don't know at this at this point because I don't have any of the cars for any of the events going on right now. So maybe maybe I'll I'll, uh, I'll think of something. Maybe it'll be a rare crate opening just to see. But since the events are almost over for the re for the recent ones, I think I'm just going to hold off a little bit and uh Maybe I'll just do more Tempest races until I can get into an event that I can actually do because I have the car. We're just strolling along, fellas. We're just we're just going right through these. And I noticed that a lot of the car, look at that car, man. It, it kind of reminds me of the Spano that you win at the end of this event. So a lot of them are red and black, red and black, red and black. And speaking of, but the last one, that's the car that I used to win uh, Shauna's, um, Shauna's Challenge, her Land Rover, her Range Rover. I was using a red and grayish type uh, Hyundai, Hyundai. Oh, and Scorpion Leader, shout outs to him just because uh, he kind of told me how to uh, pronounce uh, Hyundai. He says Hyundai is pronounced like Sunday, so... <laughs> Because <laughs> I kept on like pronouncing it three different ways. I didn't know how to pronounce it, bro. Uh, but he, he told me that. So shout out to him. I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you watching. So yeah, the first 20 races are going to be super easy. I mean, just for the simple fact that we do have a 10 second car here. Uh, I think this whole event is going to be super easy. I think I think that's a good thing though because uh, I really want want that car. I was looking at my my car parts and fusion parts, and I think uh, let me buy this gas right quick. And I think I have enough parts to go ahead and uh, move forward. You know, once I get a spano. Yeah, it's gonna be dope. I can't wait because then I'll have another T five to kind of kind of work with I might start working on my Lamborghini man because I saw a video the other day the Lamborghini was so fast so fast I don't know if they did an event 
uh, around the time that I, you know, that the video came out, but so many parts, car parts and fusion parts in it, the car was so fast. I think it was running a half a mile in like uh, seven seconds or something like that. I was like, wow, man. And I have one, so I think I might start working on mine. After that, that was, uh, that was inspiration for me. I said, man, I gotta get mine to that level because it was, it was nice. It was really nice. But I like this car too. Like any car that you recognize from a movie, especially the Fast and Furious. I love Fast and Furious. And, and everyone recognizes this movie, this movie, this car from uh, Tokyo Drift. You know, this was Han's car. I, I uh, the first three movies of, of the Fast and Furious are happen to be like my favorites, to be honest. You know, those are the ones that I would watch over and over and over and over again. And um, I think that they're dope movies, right? So uh, when I saw that we had a chance to get Hans, uh, hold on, let me do this right quick. Hans RX-7, I was happy. Did I get it? I did get it. Okay, cool. Let's keep going, boys. Let's keep going, moving forward. 2.7, he was at a three second, so. I got him. I got him. But yeah, so any any famous car that you guys, you know, see, I especially if, if they have it to offer CSR, because I kind of came late in the game, man. I've only been playing for about three months now, and, it, and it's pretty cool just because, you know, you get to have some of these famous cars. And Alte's GT, that Ford GT is so dope. I don't know if you know this, for people that own, like, you know, the movie stars and, and, and high-profile people that have a lot of money and that can afford a Ford GT, it's crazy because you have to sign a document, a contract, saying that you can't resell it afterwards. I thought that was a trip. I mean, you're spending all this money, like hundreds of thousands of dollars for a car, and then whenever you're done with the car... You can't even resell it. You can get in legal trouble because of that. I was like, what? That's crazy. So, so boys, when you become millionaires and you want to get a car, just know that if, <laughs> if, uh, if, if you get that car, you won't be able to sell it to your homeboys after you're done with it. So uh, keep that in mind. So that's what I did. Note to self whenever I make it note to self whenever i make it but i'll probably end up getting a lambo if i ever hit big on the lottery or whatever so those lamborghinis are nice nice where are we at now what race are we at i know we're out of tank of gas but is that three tanks that we went through oh we're at 16 okay we're gonna do one more tank of gas, boys. Let's go ahead and do it. It's only 20 gold. I'm good with gold, so it's no worries. And yesterday's video, I had like $5 million, but I dropped 2 million in the Bugatti that I got. So uh, my new restoration car is gonna be a Bugatti. I think it's called a 110 DB or something like that. Well, anyway, uh, the reason why I chose that one is for one, it's a tier five uh, restore car, but at the end of it, it's gonna be blue. So I went ahead and went on, on that just based off the fact that at the end of it, it's gonna be blue. And uh, my boy VJ kinda, kinda gave me some information. Uh, yeah, I've been leaving a lot, of, uh, a lot of components on the table because you know what, I don't go to, to uh, I don't go to Jess's is it Jess or Ziggy's or Izzy's? Izzy? No, it's it's anyway. It's this. I wasn't going to to doing my daily stuff to get the the, the components. So he kind of gave me a reminder, and uh, I'm only restoring one at a time. So I appreciate all all that information, VJ. I appreciate you, bro. So yeah, we uh, we are all always going to do that on a daily basis that way i can do that because it took so long to get 
one restore car done and i was like dang is it supposed to take this long it's only because i wasn't doing my daily stuff at the restore garage so um yeah it's pretty cool you can get about a thousand uh, a day as long as you have one car at a time because the computer doesn't know how to decipher which you know which component do you need so that makes sense All right, this is good. This is good. We're almost there. Two more races, boys. Then we'll call it a night. And then after that, tomorrow, we're going to take that Spino from Larry. I really want that car. I want to see how it drives. What is this? It's hard now. What is that? Another sprint? All right, let me focus on this. Did I get it? I got it? Really? Whoa. All right. I'm 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 down with that. I'll take it. It looked like I didn't win though. <laughs> he was way ahead of me. I was I was thinking he was already at 100 miles per hour. Our last race of the night and we are racing the Mighty McLaren. Or McLaren, whatever you want to call it. Got him, son. That is it. That is it for the night. Collect my little five gold. Okay, boys, uh, this is a limited offer. Should we do it? Maybe later. No, we're not going to take advantage of that. Okay, so hey, guys, I just wanted to say um, first 20 races are down. Tomorrow we're going to do the next 20 races, and we're going to go ahead and hit up uh, Larry for his Spano. Or Spano. So uh, I just want to say I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate all the recent support that you guys have been giving me. Um, you know, if there's anything about this video that you like, feel free to smash that like button. And um, you should consider subscribing because, like I said before, we do post on a daily basis and we have fun on the channel. Uh, and again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.